Hi everyone, Richie here. So here's a question I pose myself while using both my Garmin Forerunner and Fitbit Flex. What would be the difference in reported performance for a few different activities? Well, I spent the day finding out and I'm here to give you the results. Before I talk you all through the results, just a recap on how these two devices work. The Garmin Forerunner uses GPS to track your movement so it knows how far and how fast you've traveled. When you use this with a compatible heart rate monitor and after plugging in your vital stats, it can report back to you with reasonable accuracy the amount of calories you've burned during the period you've tracked. The Fitbit is pretty much based entirely on movement and also uses your vital stats such as age and weight to estimate how much energy you've expended. So I made like for like measurements. The Garmin was used for the exact period that I did the activity and then it stored that info as a session. Now with the Fitbit, I took a screenshot on the app of the moment right before and after each activity and worked out the difference between the two stats to come up with the figure. So the first activity was the most strenuous, running for half an hour up and down hills, a few sprints here and there, trying to keep that heart rate up. So after 30 minutes of intense exercise, the Garmin said I had run just over six kilometers and used up 350 calories on the way. So what did the Fitbit app tell me? Well, it estimated that I'd run just under five kilometers and was busy burning 433 calories. So it's understated the distance covered, but overstated the energy used. So how about the complete opposite? How much energy does it take to do absolutely nothing? Now, this was a fun experiment. Sit around for half an hour, trying not to move, keeping my heart rate at rest. So how many calories did the Garmin say I'd burned away this time? A puny 35 calories. So sitting around uses one tenth of what it takes to run for the same period. Uh, no wonder it's so easy to pile the kilos on. And the Fitbit was very close. It reported 37 calories used up. Now, uh, what's something you could do while sitting on your butt but it helps release more energy? Why, air drumming, of course. So, I strapped on the heart rate monitor one more time, got my drumsticks and headphones, and pounded away for half an hour, really making an effort. So what was the reward this time? A full 104 calories used up. Now, that was according to the Garmin combined with the heart rate monitor. Now, what did the uh, good old Fitbit Flex report back? Well, it came back with more than double. 276 calories. Now, to be fair, the Fitbit is looking at movement and me raising and lowering my arm to hit those imaginary skins really does, you know, to the Fitbit, look like real movement. In fact, it thought I'd actually run the equivalent of three kilometers. So I guess the takeout here is the more expensive heart rate monitors combined with a GPS-based sensor trumps the simple movement-based trackers, but unless you're a serious runner or a bike rider, then you don't really have too much to worry about. It's the sleep patterns and general steps and movement taken during the day are the things that Fitbit tracks really well. Uh, but what this segment probably shows is that if you are a more serious active person, it's still worth having the specialized equipment right now. Um, I, I, from my point of view, nothing beats a heart rate monitor and GPS for real calorie output. So there you have it, a fun experiment that once again got me off the couch and very active in the real world. What are your thoughts? Uh, do you use a Fitbit or a training watch to track yourself? And if not, will these results sway you towards either product type? Let us know in the comments area below. I really look forward to hearing from you. Happy Chinese New Year for those celebrating this week, and until next time.